It's our fair part show. 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 G'day there, podcaster. Liam here. Um, yeah, back into it live. So this podcast is being uh, recorded on the day it's being released and the show will be sort of all new and fresh from here as well. Uh, back into it after a couple of weeks away. I was in Bali. Uh, Ben's here as well. You had a bit of an international adventure. Yep, went to Fiji for five nights. Um, my back is a little sore. That's an ailment. Um, <laughs> I went to the gym for the first time in a while since becoming a father. Um, and session two tweaked my back. Oh, that's a- oh, God. How'd you tweak it? Uh, I was doing this thing where you get one of those um, plates, like a big plate, and it wasn't that big. And <laughs> <laughs> it was a normal size plate. Uh, and you, you got to like, and you, you bend from the hips and you keep your oh, back brother, straight. Brother. Is it called a good morning? Yeah, good morning, but it's on your back if it's a good morning. Where oh, was okay. the plate? On Did my you... chest. Oh, bless. So you're was... standing up? Yeah, standing oh, up. Bro, that's good. Like, kind of like, yeah, kind of like in you're about to do like a lift position and then. I was doing the good mornings, yeah, whatever you call them, uh, and I just felt it go. Oh man! Yeah. So two sessions in, and I've already done my back. That's, so I'm getting that's old. hard. That yeah. Mm. That's I did my back doing a similar thing. Like but a you year know ago. what? You know what I think it is because I love stretching. I've talked about this before on the podcast. <laughs> I do. I do genuinely enjoy stretching. I feel good after stretching, and so that's why I was so frustrated when it went because I thought I've, I was so stretched up. I was so limber. But there's one part of my body that I haven't been stretching, and um, there was a guy at the gym, the trainer. And he was saying, oh, you know, I, what is it? I told him where it was exactly. I told him that I stretch a lot. And he said, because uh, I said, oh, I thought it was hip flexors. But he said, no, nah, no, nah, it's not your hip flexors. It's your glutes. And I got this new stretch now that, that I do. It's tight. my ass. I got a tight ass. Wait, that yeah. made your back go? Yeah, my glutes were too tight. Because I, I never stretch Whoa. my glutes. I never do it. Does that mean they were holding on to your back? Mm-hmm. And they yeah, weren't well, stretching you, down you, properly? Your ass is connected to your back quite a fair, like, yeah. in, in quite a few different ways. And so I've got a few glute stretches that I've How added to the routine. Uh, so there's a good one where you get the foam roller. There's a few different ones, but this is the one that I do that feels the best. You get the foam roller. Uh, so it's my left ass, my left ass cheek. So uh, you take the right leg and you cross it over like you're doing a half cross leg sit. Oh. So you put your foot on your on your left knee. If that makes sense. Uh-huh. And you just and you roll like that cheek oh, out. So yeah. So yeah, like you're that. rolling it. Good is that it's still stretching it if you're rolling it? Yeah. I guess it yeah. Is. Because yeah. it's like a stretch. It's, like, it's a stretch and it's also rolling at the same time. It's a good one. Like kneading the dough. Yep. <laughs> uh, Bell, any ailments? No international adventures. Um, no, I stayed home, but um, I have also tweaked my lower back. But I don't. I We're can't. I can't guys. bring it back to a certain point. I just realised it had been around for a few days. That's even worse. Mm. But when I, I think it's because I hunch when I sit a lot, and because of the mic, I've got to sit like this more. So if I'd you like see that. me hunching, yeah. because I like to be like, yeah. can you just remind me? It please? also accidentally uh, a byproduct of that is you. Your head goes below the monitors yes. in front of you, and the, it's not great mm. for the cams. Yeah. Uh, producer Andy. Oh, oh, that's right. Are we doing that, are we? <laughs> yeah, you just went straight in. No, he's left. <laughs> uh, I like, how, was I like how some people thought he didn't leave. There was a lot of chat on the Alpha Squad about whether or not that was real. That, yeah. that is real, bro. Sadly, it was real. That is yeah. unfortunately real. Uh, and we, we knew for a couple of short weeks before, but Andy did sort of, t- like in his will, if you will, um, he sort of said that he would like to reveal it at the very end of the it, very end. And, and not talk about it at all. Yeah. There's and so not even go hints. into any detail. Yeah. And we dropped, <laughs> we dropped, yeah. And I, I saw a few people did notice after there was <laughs> hints side, and there was yeah. a lot of like, oh, he'll never play that game again. And Ugh, hey, yeah. Andy, if you don't like it so much, why don't you leave? <laughs> and that's to be fair, stuff. he set that precedent of having those dummy spits before yeah, he was leaving. True, so yeah. we, we, yeah. we were two never known. Aside from losing uh, a good friend and colleague, uh, the thing that I'm most cut off about about him leaving thing is at some point we're going to have to go back through and redo a lot of the intros for things because his name's in all of them. Yeah, like but, a lot of his oh, names. Yeah. Well, yeah. His, 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 his face is on the artwork. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so I think that admin. needs to be changed. Yeah, it does. It needs to be changed. Or do yes. I just put like a gravestone in front of no, his face? No, I think we blur need to update it. it. <laughs> you blur it. Blur it. update it. I mean, you guys aren't on it yeah. anyway, so like we should update it a bit. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't mind being on it still. It's just weird though. It's just like, like, who's yeah. that guy? He's not in talking the lo- on it. Like, for me, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me right now, but in six months, it's weird. I'm yeah. sitting in his spot. I mean, to be yeah. fair, right um, Eli, who was doing Scudder's job like two Scudders ago, <laughs> uh, still voices. It's the team. It's the team. Oh. The week. Yeah. But that co- you, if you told me that was Scudder, I would have really? 100% yeah. believed yeah. you. Yeah. No, I reckon no, I Scudder could mean. do it. I, I couldn't could, get that high. It's the team. Yeah, I'd have to warm up for a bit. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, anyway, sorry, roll call. My bad. <laughs> um, Prod Tina? 
She's out at the moment. She's doing some business. Maybe. She's not. She's, she's not left, guys. She's she doesn't work. She's doing still. some business. Yeah. Um, Scudder. Uh, yes, present. No ailments or international adventures for me. Wonderful for the first part. Would have been nice if you could have gone on an international adventure. Any planned? Yes, I do have one planned. Uh, in January, I'm going to Japan. Oh, oh. Yeah. first time. First time. Yep. Man, so that'd be so cool. We're doing all the planning nice. at the moment, so it's going to be so exciting. You're planning. <laughs> you have to give us your itinerary when you get closer, when you know what you're doing. Yes, we'll do. Japan's great. Yeah. Whole episode on Scudder's itinerary. Can't wait. Are you I'd, going I'd to just to to Tokyo? Are you going to do Osaka? No, no, we're going to Kyoto yes. uh, <laughs> slash Osaka uh-huh. for a couple of days. Uh-huh. But no, it, I know it's skiing season, but we're not going to Sapporo like everyone else does yeah. to ski. I've no. never done Sapporo. I've oh. only done... The rest of Japan. My uncle's going to be there at the same time, and he's only doing Sapporo. Ah, so love okay. skiing and beer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I did, yeah. I, did, I forgot about that. There's a Sapporo beer. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. a yeah. brewery. The brewery cans. is up there. Yeah. Huge right. big cans. Yeah, big cans. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jack, present. Uh, no business. Um, small tidbit is Ben. You said you said you had five nights in Fiji, and mm. your son is Freddie. Yeah. So you had five nights. With Freddie, oh, yes, which is, quite fun. Which is a great movie. movie. <laughs> and video game. Oh. Yeah. Um, international uh, adventures planned. I do plan to go to Switzerland next year to That'd go cool. see Eurovision. That's right. But I need to get oh, tickets yeah. first, and they haven't come out. Is yet. it hard? Is it really hard? Yeah. So the, apparently on Reddit, the, all the people say the hard part is get tickets first because all the hotels got booked up within a day of them announcing the city. Yeah, right. But the people who don't get tickets will all cancel their hotel bookings. In in like the you know like World Cup final, Olympics, Eurovision. Mm. Like, I wonder what is, what is the hottest like oh, Super Bowl. Like, what is the actual hardest ticket to get? Do you mm. reckon? Like mm. even mm. AFL Grand Final, pretty hard. Well, yeah, there's like, an Australian. Up. I mean, there's to... it's in a stadium called Saint Jakobsen, which actually had a Euros match apparently in um, Basel. Oh, right. Um, there's twelve thousand seats, but there'll probably be. A That's not many. Bit, Surely, yeah. it, it would be to something. But there's like, like five nights that I just want to go to the final though. Surely yeah. it'd be something like the US Open, as in uh, the tennis, or like the Australian Open, because it's not very big. Like to get an actual yeah, ticket to that. Smaller. I was thinking the World Cup. Um, big stadium though. It is. Yeah, yeah but, but then it's world. But like everyone. Once again, world. those yeah. grand final World Cup tickets. I'd love to know world how many Cup. per year. Mm. Great song. Um, we've got a fact about him in a sec. Oh, yeah. Um, how many of those tickets are corporate or like yeah. given out to yeah. your yeah, royalties people, people and, your, and your and your and your sponsors and stuff? I actually had a um ticket related um bit of business. I've got two bits of business. The first one is just a heads up. Um, we have now got the IDs back for the for the regular podcast. Yes! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so massive shout out to Jack and Scudder. I wrote a couple of them, but you guys did most of them. Um, uh, because half half, but... in the Alpha Squad, um, there was I saw there was a thread. People said, "Hey, we want these back," and they were, everyone was like commenting uh, their favourites. Yeah. So basically, in between the show audio on the radio show, um, we'd have like little IDs uh, in between, and they were just like nonsense because the whole premise was. Um, we get people, we pay people here at Nova to do voiceover um, sessions. And I think it was Liam's idea a long time ago where he said, hey, I wonder how far we could push them if we just wrote nonsense. Would they just read it because they get paid mm. to do a session? And that was where these were born. Um, we retired them because they were on the podcast for years and they started to get a little bit stale, but people still love them. Um, so we have uh, rewritten uh, a whole bunch of new ones. So I'm excited for you to hear yeah. those. And I said to Scudder, I said, you said, was there any you wanted me to leave out? And, I, and there was one that I said leave out, but now I think about it, leave it in, because I think for people that <laughs> know, will know. Which one was it? Yeah. It was the one that Do said... Do we want to know which one it is? No, yeah, because I'll there was... I'll cut it if we decide not okay. to. <laughs> no, I think we use it, because there was one where I always remembered it when I thought of the old podcast IDs, and then I wrote it into the new batch, Oh yeah, I know what you're and then the about. person didn't voice it right. It starts with an oh, O. Oh, okay, so we were talking about this, right? Yeah. yeah. We weren't here. Scudder and I realised that it was definitely a reference to an old school bit. Yep. But no, we weren't well, there when not, it happened. Well, not even really. It was yeah. just an old... It was just a nonsense phrase. Well, it became a bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it was a nonsense phrase. That? The person in the new bunch read it wrong, but I think for those that remember, we'll like to hear it. To be fair, <laughs> I she... the voice. What's the voiceover artist name? Her name was Amy. She, she was is yeah. amazing. She amazing. does all, like, a lot of the interbreaks as well. It, like, she has so much fun with it because I bet all day you're given, like, uh, win $5,000 yeah. oh, and yeah. tickets to Amy Shark, you know? Like, yeah. there's a lot of that. 
and when you actually get to say something dumb and fun mm. for money, <laughs> I'd be so much more all over that than she, you. Yeah. She had a ball. We get the whole session. Yeah, we get the all the audio <laughs> so, with her going, what the hell does that mean? So <laughs> she just gets a page, like a Word doc, with everyone around Australia's requests for voices. So mm. it would have been between a Chrissy Swan promo and <laughs> like Ash, Luke, Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Susie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she just would have been like, <laughs> ben Lehman Bell, uh, like yeah, just stop going <laughs> brain yeah. rot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your mum wears army boots. And she didn't understand most of it. You could hear her being like, "I don't know what this means." And then she just do it. She gave she it a red light. So right. Yeah, and perfect. I agree. I think that's why you should leave it in because yeah. it's funny yeah. that yeah. she got it wrong. So uh, enjoy those. They'll be in the regular podcast. Um, my other bit of business was, hey guys, um, Jack here, the digital producer. We went on a bit of a rant for about two or three minutes about a business. We don't know if they're a client or not, so just cutting it out for now. However, I'll let you know on the Ben Lehman Bell Alpha Squad on Facebook um, because we will we might re-edit it if we find out they're not a client. Um, how does that sound, Scudder? Right. Okay, cool. So sorry about that, um, but we'll let you know if we re-edit it. Keep listening. Can I share my speed fact that I was yeah, going to um, yeah, yeah, yeah. add the streamer, not the drug? Um, yeah. Or the movie starring Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah, nice. Not speed to cruise control, just starring Sandra Bullock, <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> they couldn't get him back. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't come back. Um, he broke the record for the most concurrent viewers on a live stream by like a Western streamer ever. Really? Oh, I he think had, I saw that. He had yeah. over like because an Australian gaming streamer had it on YouTube with a million. Kai Sinat did it on Twitch. That was seven hundred thousand. That was Twitch, Twitch's record. But mm-hmm. Speed had uh, like over a one point one million concurrent viewers. Just like people what, one point one viewers million oh, at, watching wild. at that peak current viewership. Time. Yeah. What was like, he doing? I don't know. I it's I nuts, genuinely don't know. What's what's his thing? What's he known for? Uh, crazy. He started like, he's by, just like does like crazy stuff. Started yeah. by gaming and then his like first viral clip was someone donated a dollar saying, Who's your favorite soccer player? And he said the famous words, Christian Ronaldo, Sui. Uh and then that <laughs> clip went viral vi- viral viral. And then like like the Hawk Tour girl, he went mental. But okay. having said that, he does entertaining stuff. Yeah. Oh. He um so you said by the most concurrent um viewers from a western. Yeah, cuz I think some like uh in like there's a lot of Asian um streaming services like Weverse and like um stuff like that where some Asian streamers get I've got to keep all millions the millions and millions and millions. I won't be able to um I have to just, like I'll blacklist myself all the the names and events around this, but I know someone who manages someone that you would know and someone reached out to them and said, Hey, like we've got this really famous Chinese like star on we is it Weibo or Weibo, yeah. And so they had like I don't know, say like three hundred million followers. Mm. And they like couldn't really they were like, Is this a joke? Like is this real? Like mm. no basically like, hey, we will pay your person who you manage 150 grand mm. for like this photo. So like mm. they it was a sports person. Mm. And so then they flew that person to Sydney. The person from China came. They, 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 they you know, it means nothing to us. Mm. Very big in China. They took this photo holding like the equipment that they would use for that particular sport. Mm. And it was like, sweet. Is that, That's why this, the person from China was a big fan of the athlete. Or yeah, maybe I think they just, like well, I don't know. They were sort of like, I don't know. They just had so much money that they were like, and so they, they said, okay, well, we, we're not putting this person on that plane to Sydney until that money's transferred. And then 150 grand came into their account and they were like, oh, okay, well, I suppose it's real. So <laughs> then they just scary. went and they did the photo. It's crazy. Did you, um, spe- do you know that baseballer like, Shohei Otani, Otani? That like that massively famous one that's like the best in the world now? Yeah, uh, yeah. baseball, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he just broke some massive baseball record. record. Yeah. I saw a clip of Rob Lowe talking about how he got a photo with him, Rob Lowe, the actor, and he said, um, oh, can I have a photo from Shohei Otani? He goes, yep, cool, give me two minutes. And he got dressed up in his whole garb. Like, he was just wearing a T-shirt. But then he went out the back, got changed for five minutes in his whole baseball garb to go, all right, you like this is like the proper thing. Like, uh, you ask for a picture with a Dodger, you're getting a picture with a Dodger. Yeah, right. And then, like, ten minutes later, text Rob Lowe's manager saying, is it okay if I post that photo with Rob? And I'm like, this guy's paying, get it on, like, a $2 billion baseball mm. deal, and he's asking permission from a <laughs> 90s so... massive actor if he can post a photo. <laughs> a guy who's in yeah. Wayne's World. Um, yeah, guy was in, <laughs> Before we wrap this up... Uh... Oh, hang on, are we going to do it in Clickbait Monday? Well, yeah, are we... Because oh, we we got, we've got to start the show, guys. <laughs> yeah. I saw, every time I sort of started to go into it, everyone was like, oh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Clickbait Monday. A little bit of Fatini's secret life A little bit of Benjamin, what do you buy? A little bit of 
Preemptively went back and muted the Andy bit. It was all me. It was all my idea. Who no was your idea, Bill? I would not know that. I don't even know. I didn't oh, notice idea, anything Bill. different. Um, I did. What actually? No, I, I did. I went for the I'll scream over approach, <laughs> and then so then all that happened is there was a nice <laughs> gap, and I went. Rah, rah, rah. I don't know if it was anything else different, but I didn't notice you did a kind of half harmonising key change on what did I eat, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, I think we yeah, should yeah. keep that version. Yeah, one, <laughs> one of the layers. Yeah. Well, that's what? the plan that I yeah. came up with. That's a good plan, And Bill. said to Scanner, I want to do this before you should have the flagged off-air. that when I said I'm worried about all the intros. Yeah, I didn't you didn't flag, flag it until it was it a Because oh, I was trees. trying to get ready to fade it down myself mm. manually, but I didn't know where the Andy bit was. Also, so then it was already done. I don't think Bell's ever reserved the right eternally like you have been. So, yeah, like, true. She couldn't have the right exactly. Anywho, anyway. we, we should probably do a rapid fire round eight. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my minutes. three words. I like the... I, I like that. Right. Well, let's... Uh, uh, who I wants to first? Yeah, but, oh, shit. Um, uh, best movie ever. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Bell. Oh. Breaking up soon. Oh! oh okay. Uh, workmate in Wild. What? That's... Well, what? You're combining oh. Workmate, are we? Workmate's one. Yeah, Workmate, yeah. I'll give you. I Googled it. First of all, tried new thing... Ooh. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, nudie movie alone. Oh. <laughs> um, I was keen to tell everyone about the, the, the movie that I saw, so I'm going to vote for myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, I'll go for Liam. Okay. I was going to go for Belle. Whoa. Yeah, I don't really want to hear about Jack watching porn. It wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't that. But I'm not allowed to say anymore. Dude, mine's not porn, but it's pretty good. It could be. Oh, it's so so I must be. admit, I don't know. Bell's was very intriguing. She got she won the hook contest for oh, me. So that's you. two for Bell. So unless uh, Jack has anything else to say. Uh, well, I could vote for yeah. any. I could vote yeah. for anyone else. But no, no, no. Um, you know what? Bell, what are you breaking up? Oh, God. Um, oh, sorry, Ben. Uh, no, I, um, <laughs> Classic. Uh, you guys know that I love my gym and I love BFT, but I'm over it. So, uh, <laughs> I'm leaving there and, um, I've started uh, shopping around and, and looking at other places and I found a few good ones. Wow. The end. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's, that's the biggest thing I did on my break. Tried There's a lot gyms. of gym franchises out there, but have you ever, do you ever drive past like a regular gym that says like Steve's gym? And it's yeah, like, yeah. there's like a person oh, owns like average yeah. Joe's. Steve's gym yeah. in Hawthorne. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, real you know, the real one. I was gonna say I know Duke's gym. Oh, I drove past and Steve's gym. I feel like I was doing like a five minute to every scene in front of my wife's tent battle. I was like, who is Steve? Yeah, if I ever met Steve, yeah. Steve if I ever got to meet Steve, I would be the happiest man alive. No, it's really sad because it's on the corner yeah. and it's like you, you drive past and you go, who Where goes it? to Steve's? Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's in Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Like Auburn. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, niche niche reference. I'm glad mm. someone got it though. <laughs> well, did you? Yeah. You should go to Steve's gym. You should try it out. <laughs> try Steve's gym. You should try Steve's, Steve's gym. Steve's gym seems like Humble. you know how there's like Globo gym and there's yeah. like oh, average Joe's. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I already said yeah. average Globo. It does seem like average Joe's. It, it, lo- yeah, it, it looks like, like going from Globo gym. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you should challenge them to a looks, game of dodgeball. Yeah. 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 Like Globo gyms, like anytime fitness, yeah. and then you got Steve's gym. Steve the part in there. No, Globo gyms, Dermot for sure. Globo gym. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's very funny. Have you had the conversation with Christian yet about oh, shopping well, around? Well, so <laughs> he, he will instead. be leaving soon. Oh, well, oh, that's a massive I, bombshell. I hope that's not a nah. private work. Hey, no, he's, he's growing his own business um, and I get a free membership while he's there. So if he leaves, I was like, well, if you're leaving, <laughs> I, I won't get it for free anymore. And you I've should do that new it, thing so that's taken go... that thing that's taken off. They had the World Championships in Perth, where it's like cross. Uh, is it? Um, oh, uh, High Rocks. High Rocks. What's that? No, no, no. Rocks. So no. So that's that's an event that you yeah, I know do. what it is. Yeah. You should no, try I was that. Go, I was you can train for it. Oh, yeah, I know. I was going to do it in July, and then I. Well, there you go. Put you to it. It's my idea. No, there's another one. So there's another one in December. <laughs> should have flagged it, Bill. Should have flagged it. Um, <laughs> you should have reserved. Now when you do it, everyone go, "Wow, that's a good idea." Ben, don't you do that? Well done. I'm gonna do. When you cross the finish line, I'm gonna. I've never heard you say High Rock. Also, just I'll give a quick. Chris Hemsworth's PT on, and he it, he was doing high rocks, and there. he has a team at home. Yes, you were. I'm just going to give a quick shout out to uh, former newsreader Ash Gardner, who yes. competed yes. in the 
the world championships for for triathlon. Triathlon, yeah. And she came like well, 80th. It was, uh, it in the was world. Iron Men and Iron Women. Iron. So, oh, sorry. It's more than it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she was bad. training for one in Australia when she was like on this off air pod, and then she did so well that she got to go to France because she qualified. And we, should then, yeah. a, we should do a team high rocks. Team we could, yeah. So you do relay, and we that's you could do. I feel like it's the in thing at the moment. It's the it's the cool yeah. gym thing, and you can make it as easy or as it's hard like, as you um, want. Because basically, it's, it's super, super, super quick. If you don't know, it's like where you do like, um, you do like a, a medicine ball and you throw it okay, five meters in the air, and then you run a kilometer, and then you do like the ski erg for three minutes, and then you run a kilometer, and then there's like eight stations. Like so that. it's like yeah. that. BMT. So every... thing you do do already like that yeah. challenge. So PFT and the cha- that's to see if you qualify to do high rocks. So when I did it, oh, I qualified. Dude, you're a run and... below. Yeah, you no, well, get, then I, like, and then like Christian relegation. and I were going to do it. Yeah. And then uh, my knees, I can't do the lunges because you do the lunges with the sandbag. Um, but, yes, it's like you do a certain amount of exercises where you have to meet a certain amount of meters and Ks, and then each one is split up with a friggin' run, and the runs are just death. Mm. But, yeah. Well, mm. I'll be cheering on Ben as you cross the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do a team high rocks. That fun. would be sick. Yeah. Once I sort my back out. <laughs> Once and you roll back. out your glutes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, roll out your glutes for you. Uh, thanks, bye guys. See you, podcaster.